Hello, how are you doing, my great people? Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. Now, just from the title, this video extensively discusses about applying the DV lottery with your kids and everything pertaining the kids' information, including the consent letter. So pay attention because this is very important and it will help you a great deal in your application. The first point that I should not forget to mention is that it is mandatory and the word is a must that all applicants who have spouses and kids to include the spouse and the kids. You as the main applicant, you include your spouse and all of your kids. Another thing, if you are a single parent, regardless of the gender, and you have kids, you also have to include those kids. That is what I should not forget to mention. And that one, everyone must be knowing at this moment. Because failure to include them, that leads to fraud. And fraud is not a good thing in the DV process. It denies people their visas, even if they win the green card lottery. Now, regarding applying for the DV lottery with your kids, let me handle three things. And the first thing is on the kids that are just about to turn 21 years. If at this moment, remember we are in the final day of DV lottery application, that is the DV 2025. And the thing that you should know about applying with your kids is that if your kid or your kids have not yet attained 21, but by the time the results will be out, they will have attained 21 years. Or during the process, up to the interview, the kids attain 21 years of age. What should you do? You should apply including them because they have not yet attained 21. If, for example, your kids or your kid have the age of 20 and a half years, they qualify to be added as derivatives. Only those kids that are above the age of 21 years are not eligible to be added as derivatives. Only those above the age of 21. But if your kid is below 21, even if he or she is 21 years and 9 months, you include them in the application. Because there is a law, and it's called the Child Status Protection Act. This act by the U.S. government, or by the Congress, this act, it protects all kids that will turn 21 in the process of getting the diversity visa. It protects them and it sees them as under 21 years of age even if they have overtaken 21 years of age during the process. Only that during the application they have not yet attained 21 years. That is the first major thing that I needed to tell you. So if you are applying today and you have those kind of kids then go ahead and include them in the application. Now, the kids that you are supposed to add in your application, I know most of you know, include your biological kids. The kids that you gave birth to, all of them must be included in the application. The second set is step kids. And the step kids are the kids of your spouse. Maybe when you were coming together, when you are getting married, the other spouse came with kids. Those kids 
after getting the legal marriage document, they become your stepkids and they fall under your custody. They don't need the other parent's consent. They are under your custodianship. You decide everything regarding them. So they become your kids and you should include them. The other set is your adopted kids. And this must be legally adopted through a legal procedure. The legally adopted kids, they must be included. But remember that all those kids that I have mentioned must not be married and not above the age of 21 years. Now, let's come to the main part of this conversation. Now, you have added your kids as a single parent because that is what is required. So let's talk about the single parents and the whole DV process. So if you are a single parent, and of course you have added your kids or your kid, if by the time you're checking the results, you find out you have been selected, then you have to fill the DS-260 form as usual. And you include all the details regarding yourself and also your kids and everything. And then you proceed. But as you are waiting for the interview, there is something that you must do. And this that you must do will depend on your situation. Because even if you are a single parent, remember that your kids, they are not on your full custody. No. You share the custody with your partner the other parent to those kids. The kids, in other words, belong to you and to the other parent. That is what is in the law. Remember your kids, they belong to both you and the other parent. And that is to mean there is no serious decision that you can make on those kids minus the other parent. Even if the other parent is not within the vicinity. Even if you're not living together. Even if you're not in good terms. Even if the parent left you long time ago. Regardless of whatever reason. The other parent still has authority over these kids. Just as you have. You share the custody over these kids. And the same case applies to the travel decisions. Even if you have won the DV lottery, you will not be allowed outside of the country with the kids without the other parent giving a consent. You cannot do that without their consent. And therefore, this brings the term, the consent letter. The consent letter is a letter that is signed by the other parent to allow you to make decisions over these kids. In other words, it's like the other parent has agreed, has accepted the kids to move out of the country with you. So you have made the both of you the decision that these kids let them move out of the country to the U.S. Is the point clear? So, if you are a single mother or a single father and you have kids, when preparing for the interview, you need to be in communication with the other parent and let them sign a notarized consent letter indicating that that parent has accepted the kids to move out of the country with you to the United States. That one you must do. There is no way around that. That one you must do. But some questions become, what if I can't gain access to the other parent? Maybe 
he or she is nowhere to be found. You lost contact long time ago and you don't know even where the other parent is. And that other parent has never cared, he has never shown, or she has never cared, and she has never shown up in whichever situation. Therefore, you can't get any contact with him or her. So what should you do in that case? Another question is, what if during birth, the parent was not there, and therefore, on the birth certificate of the kids, there is no the name for the second parent. What about that? So let's go to the first one. If you can't gain access to the other parent, if you cannot gain contact with them, what should you do? There is what we call child custody. And the child custody means, in other words, authority in decision-making over the kids. And I've said, the both of you share equal custody. But if you cannot gain contact with them, you can try to file through a legal procedure for the type of custody that we call sole custody. In other words, it's called full custody. And sole custody or full custody simply means that the court, after a long procedure, has laid all the decision-making over your kids on you, solely on you. You have the full right to make all decisions around the kids on yourself, on your own. You're given that power by the legal processes. But it is not as easy as it sounds. Remember, sole custody always becomes successful only if the other parent poses threat to the kids. And you have an evidence showing that when the other parent comes close to the kids, he or she can cause harm. That is the strongest reason that can give you sole custody. So it's not as easy as you think. You can try to go and file for sole custody, but you will go through a lot of questioning and a lot of evidence must be brought proving that the other parent can cause harm to the kids. Are you getting that? And also sometimes if completely you cannot gain access to the other parent, it is impossible, then you can also file for sole custody. Let me tell you, if you try to file for sole custody and the other parent realizes that, he can provoke that. He has the right or she has the right to do that. She can come and prevent that. And she or he has the right to do that because the kids also belong to them. So it's not an easy process. Otherwise, the best way to go around all this problem is to have the other parent to sign the consent letter. But if it is impossible, go ahead to get the sole custody. And this also applies if at the point of birth, the other parent was not there and there is no name or his name on the birth certificate of the kid. Remember that even if there is no name of the other parent on the birth certificate, it does not mean that the kid has no other parent and the other parent can claim the custody over the kid. Remember that the kid also belong to them. So the above steps that I've talked about also apply to you who at the point of birth, the other parent was not there and his name is not included on the birth certificate.
If the other parent is within the vicinity, then don't try to do the sole custody because that other parent can block that from happening. So it's good that you just let them sign the consent letter. I know it's a tough thing to do, but we don't have any other thing to do. Only through those routes. So while preparing for the interview, make every effort to get either of those two documents, either the sole custody on those impossible scenarios to get contact with the other parent, or you just get the consent letter from the other parent. Because without which, you will not go out of the country with your kids. I hope I have discussed it clearly for you to understand. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's very important for you. And also give a like to this video, support it to reach other people who are looking for this kind of information. And also turn on the notification bell. Subscribe and put that notification bell on. That is the only way you'll get notified of an important video in this channel that I have posted. So continue applying for the DV Lottery 2025. We only have some few hours remaining. So hurry up and apply for it. Let's meet in the next video.